good evening. Hope you're all well. Sent a message. Uh, <clears throat> what we're on today, Sunday. End of last week from a chap called Andy saying, Mark, will you show me uh, how to do a little bit of decaling? Uh, and I said, yeah, of course I will, mate. Turns out, while we were chatting, Andy tells me that he's got Parkinson's disease. And uh, I said, all right, okay. How does that affect you on a day-to-day? -day? He says, yeah, I know when I've got it every day. Uh, and when I've got a bad day, I can't do any modelling. When I've got a good day, it's a bit of a struggle. I said, well, I've no magic solution, mate, but I can show you what I do, of course. Uh, anything happy to help. And all that kind of thing. Uh, I've got no magic uh, way of doing decals at all, Andy, mate. Uh, but I will show you. I'll, I'll bore you to death for the next sort of 20, 30 minutes on, on showing you what I do. Uh, listen, that's my kettle. I have that inside of me. That is from Aldi, and it has some cheese in it. Not now, obviously. Uh, our last likes it uh, but it's a, a little sort of ceramic ramekin and it comes in really handy for holding my water i haven't got a candle or a water heater type of thing etc etc what i've got mate is a kettle a little ceramic uh, dish as said uh, and i pour that water away when it goes cold now uh, I suppose I'm going to take it for granted, or I'm at, that you know to use a, a really nice warm water. Because if you try and decal in cold water, <clears throat> you'll be waiting forever. Not boiling hot water. Uh, my kettle has literally just boiled. I'm going to stick my finger in it, and it's just at the right temperature. What's the right temperature? Well, don't be silly and sticking your finger in when it's just come out of kettle. Uh, leave it to go cool for a, a second or two. Uh, and decaling, mate, upside down. So you can see there, uh, not that way, it goes upside down. And the reason for that is, is because if you put a decal in with the decal facing up, it will curl up on itself. No big deal. Let's be absolutely honest. Nobody's died uh, if you put your decal in the right way up. Okay, it's just a lot easier to uh, get it out, etc., etc., uh, if you put it in upside down. And then onto a little bit of blue towel. Uh, what I've got is I've got uh, a set and a sol. People call it sol and set. I've got a set and a sol. Uh, one's in a blue bottle uh, and one's in a red bottle. Uh, and lo and behold, one is going on with a blue brush and one is going on with a red brush. Uh, I've already done a couple tonight. Uh, I've done some uh, fuel tank in line pods, marking lines, uh, and I've already done some flap no steps. And I've already done uh, a couple of pylons as well, both sides. Uh, and I've started on my slats as well. But uh, I'm just going to do this one for the time being, uh, which is my Sky Shadow, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and I don't think I am. Uh, so uh, I, I have built quite a few of these, uh, so I am sort of familiar where these, uh, where these pil pylons, where these decals go. Uh, even though I'm going to do that, I still need to bring this one into the fore. Now, so what's the difference between the blue and the red? Uh, the blue, uh, you, you put that on first, blue brush. But do you know what? It's not absolutely essential. And what I mean by that, Andy, is water will do. Okay. Water will do. And I'll tell you for why. I've been decaling. Uh, and uh, I, I do say decaling, not decaling. Decaling is spelled de -e -e, not de -e -e. Uh, For the last seven years, obviously, that's how long I've been back in hobby. Uh, uh, with water and uh, a set solution, uh, and there's absolutely no difference. All you're doing is making it wet, uh, just so that you can actually manoeuvre the decal around. Now, while you're watching... If you do pick any hints and tips up, mate, uh, then fair play to you. Uh, and, and if you don't, if it's been an absolute waste of time, then uh, I do apologise. So I'm just that one's it's just uh, just sticking onto backing paper just a little bit. So I'm going to pull it off. 
get my blue brush again uh, and i'm not bothered that right now about exact placement mate i'm holding it down with my brush and i'm moving my left hand away okay uh, and they're an absolute country mile off now look you've just seen me tip into water okay not bothered about no set solution at this moment in time i think we decals like this certainly water will suffice and i'll tell you for why uh because the set solution uh works uh, a lot better on larger decals on larger scale models whereas this one ain't too bad it's only a one in 48 all right so we're not too bad now you can see that i've swapped out the brush for the knife uh, and i'm actually letting the weight of the knife just very very carefully just move that across uh, and and put that into position as i want it to and i'm going to try and follow suit with this one and look across my line uh i'll probably be going in and out of focus because it's just my phone mate okay but let the weight of the blade uh move that decal about you don't need to rag it about okay uh and then obviously after that it's a cotton bud uh can you see that big bubble here let's get rid of that okay uh, and you can either, I've literally just definitely got this cotton bud in my fingers. Uh, I'm not pressing on. You can either just get a little tap just to get rid of that excess. Because uh, surprisingly enough, uh, that cotton bud is very, very absorbent. Okay. And once you're quite happy with where you've got your dental placed, then if you want to just give it a little bit of a roll... Not like that, Mark. Uh, if you want to just give it a little bit of a roll just to wipe that excess off, then uh, you can do and you can just see that I've made a complete not a bollocks So that one. So let's try again, Mark. It's because of these fins. Fins are in weight. Let's try again, Mark. Very carefully. I've barely got it on. I'm just going to get a little roll. Uh, the patience key. Uh, patience thing is key, mate. Okay, we certainly don't need to be rushing around, etc. etc. Where's my red brush? It's over there. Uh, and I'm into my red solution that you can barely see off camera. I'm just going to tap my paintbrush because I don't want to. Can you see that bead there? Just there, look on end. That says to me that there's too much on. So listen, that's me tapping my excess off back into the bottle. Uh, I'm from Yorkshire, I'm very tight. You only need a little bit, mate. Uh, the solution is very, very strong. It's very powerful. Okay, and it will do its thin. It's thin. It will do its thin. It's the same as when people are putting uh, filler into seam lines uh, and they absolutely bathe it in and you think, well, all you're doing is creating more chuffing work for you, then minimal just put a little bit on you know don't be an absolute babe trying not to swear on my videos aren't I, mate okay so just a little bit of the uh, uh sol solution the red one uh will suffice so bum 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 tweezers okay next up <clears throat> next up sky shadow uh, and again, uh, picking, I'm just very, very cautious where I'm putting my hands because you can see I've got a blue one and I've got a red one. And last thing I want to be doing is knocking them over. And again, it's decaling upside down, mate. I find his best practice. I know that he asked for no step decals uh, specifically. Uh, I will do a couple in a minute. What am I up to? Just nearly 10 minutes. Uh, I don't want to bore everybody to death. <clears throat> but. Mate, you've asked for a video, so uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, when I spoke to Andy and said, oh, now then, so... Oh, pardon me. When I do a video then, Andy, I won't mention your name. Uh, and I certainly wouldn't be that, uh, you know, that sort of rude as to mention, oh, Andy, uh, he's, got, he's got Parkinson's disease. Uh, you know, I, I, I've got a little bit more decorum than that. And he said, you know what, Mark, fair play. However, mate, fill your boots because 
the more people that know about it, the better it is. Okay. So Andy, <clears throat> with his Parkinson's, I mean, he says, Jesus Christ, how do you cope with that? And he says, well, some days it's good and some days it's bad. And I'll go, yeah, fair play. Absolutely. So you can, I'm not, I'm wetting this. Okay. And that's literally just so that this deckle will move around. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that you can see that they are moving. Uh, and that is all down to the temperature of the water. Okay. Now, again, I can't say, oh, it needs to be 38 degrees. Uh, I can't say that. Go on, tap around there. Oh, you bugger. Uh, it, it, I, I basically boil my kettle, which, as you know, is 100 degrees. Uh, and then I stick it in this ramekin, let it cool down for a couple of minutes. Uh, and then stick my deckle on. Okay, don't put it on upside down. All right, mate. And I know that uh, one of the attributes of Parkinson's is the shakes. Uh, and I am trying to take that into consideration. So, Andy, one of the things I do, mate, is I take the deckle as close to the part as I possibly can. Let's see if I can just sort of like uh, do it on shot for you. Uh, I don't use a pair of pinch tweezers to take the deckle off. I literally put the backing paper as close as I can and then just do that because, tweezers down, uh, because you can always manipulate it after. And again, just with a little bit of water, mate, on this one, uh, I don't need to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the piece of armament straight onto me so that I can actually get these lined up properly and you can see I'm almost, I'm sort of painting it because uh, I want to get these lined up correctly. Uh, on either side, okay, so that they're in the right place as well. Now, I do know that that one goes round about there, okay, and this one obviously on the other side. Now, if it gets to the point where it's moving about a little bit too much, mate, let's get a cotton bud out and just a, a bit of a press just to take off that excess because I do want it to start settling down. Now, if it turns out that, oh, bloody hell, I've taken too much moisture out uh, and I do need it to move again, then I'll just wet it again, okay? But like I said, the first biggest tip I've got for you, mate, uh, is to get that deckle as close to uh, the place where you're going to put it uh, to start off with, slide it up off the backing paper, try, try not to use tweezers, uh, again, especially with Parkinson's, because you're going to be... Uh, I'm not trying to take piss, but because we we both had a bit of a, you know, I call himself a dickhead, mate, on uh, on on a on a little chat that we had, and I'm like, oh no, I think you're a legend, and he went, oh no, I'm not, I'm a hate dickhead, uh, and I'm like, right, yeah, well, join the club, so, so yeah, uh, how how you get along with that with with uh, with the shakes, mate? I said, what do you do when you're really really shaking bad? Uh, Still, I don't do any modelling. No, me. Think about it, Mark. Okay. Need to straighten that one up a little bit. To there, like that. And it's not quite in line with the other one, as you can see. So I've got my blade in my hand, Andy. Uh, and I am just letting the weight of the blade. I'm not, like, gouging it. Right, like, my life depends on it, mate. Far from it. I'm literally just letting the blade do its thing what i obviously don't want to do is uh you know you watch this video and go oh, mark uses a blade when i know full well that you've got parkies parks disease uh and you end up like you know cutting your sen or whatever not through any fault of your own of course and you know what as well he's not a he's not a very old guy either now what i'm doing now andy uh with my cotton bud i've got that deckle in place and i'm just rolling it off uh, and then I'm looking for placement. I'm a, I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, uh, and what, look at that now, I've just removed it. That's because I'm calling with E. Uh, back on with blade, hang on a minute. Because now I've got to not only make sure that those two points are pointing to each other, but I've also got to make sure that it's right this way as well. On the uh, longitude, latitude type of thing. 
Listen to me trying to sound posh. On the up and down, mate. The up and down. Uh, I think that'll do. Will that do? It's really weird to see because obviously I want it to try and keep it straight. And then I'll, I want to try and keep those two points. Uh, I want to squeeze out as much of that uh, liquid at water or set as I possibly can. Little dab, little tap before uh, I get the old red brush. Because red with red up here, look, up here. Thank you. Uh, and I'm just going to dab that in uh, and literally touch it. Okay. I've got a little bit of blue roll just off camera. Now, I'm not bathing it. Right. I'm not bathing it. I'm literally just blonking a little bit on. Because at the end of the day, it's the, the solutions that you can get, they're, they're strong enough that you don't need, <coughs> that you don't need to bathe it on. All right, mate. Get back on camera for you if I can. It's really weird, you know, looking on top. Oh, I'm looking over the top of my phone. Uh, and I'm looking through my phone at the same time. So, let's just put that back on for square. Just to make sure that those two are adequately spaced. Because once you've put that red one on, which is your Sol, Microsol. Uh, and it starts to work its magic, uh, then if you haven't got the stuff in the right place, then you're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of trouble, mate. Other solutions are available, by the way. Uh, Mark Fit Strong, I think, is one. Uh, and there's quite a few. Do you know what? I, I couldn't really... I think Mig Ammo do one in a red bottle and a green bottle. Uh, I have toyed with the idea of changing because different manufacturers that use different decals from different companies, uh, sometimes you need a stronger solution, sometimes everything's okay. Now then, here we go. Now, uh, again, so I've seen a, a bit of a, not argument, it's always nice to see a bit of a, de a, a debate. Uh, and there were one yesterday on Facebook wouldn't we love it? Uh, the one yesterday on Facebook about, oh, do I gloss before I decal? One, two, three, four. I want five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and uh, and before I do any weathering, etc., etc. I think that would on Black Rifle, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, there were some guys that were saying, no, you definitely don't need to gloss. Uh, and some of them were saying, well, actually, I find it better. Don't forget, mate. Oh, let me just test that. See, that's too cold now, right? And if I put that decal into that water, it's just going to sit there for absolutely ages. So I'll just tap side of my kettle. I don't fill this container up with water. Uh, I only pour a bit in, just enough. It only needs to be like, well, a millimetre deep, really, doesn't it? Just to uh, just to put that in, I'm going to sit that there and count to ten in my head. Uh, yeah, so some guys were saying, yeah, you definitely need to uh, put a gloss on. Others were saying you don't. Uh, and I think I chipped in as well. Well, I know I did. Uh, and said, well, I use MRP paint. Uh, and you definitely don't need to gloss with that. Now, I'm saying definitely don't need to gloss with it. You've got to be careful, mate, what you say on Facebook, YouTube, Tinterweb, and all that sort of stuff, because uh, <coughs> everybody's a judge. Everybody's a, uh, uh, got an opinion. They're all entitled to one, of course, they are. Uh, and, but the last thing I, I want to be doing is saying, oh, no, you know, I use MRP, and you definitely don't need to use a gloss before you apply your decals for somebody to get their prize kit, paint it in MRP, try and stick decals on, and then it don't work. And then, you know, end of the day, they're going to come back to me and say, Mark, you said, and, you know, yeah, you're right, I did. Uh, what, so what, I, what I'll say is I use MRP paint. That's what this is painted with. And I have not put a gloss on top of this paint to do this. So you've seen me bathe it. Okay, I will add a little bit to this. I, I usually use uh, that blue solution for, for bigger decals, if I'm absolutely honest. Uh, and again, the tip is to get that as close to, get that blue paper uh, as close to your 
uh, subject as you possibly can. That's a little no step going down there. And again, there's another one there. I'm just going to look. I'm brushing it down. I'm not so sure if the video will be in focus. Because it's my phone, like I said. Uh, don't have to be absolutely cock on. Close is close enough. All right. Uh, trying to sort of look through my phone and look over at the top at the same time. Uh, to get these something like. Dropped it. Pick it up. Slide that onto there like that. Don't need to be perfect. Uh, and down you come. Now, one little tip that I will give you. Okay. And there aren't many people know this. I'm saying that like I hold some kind of census on it is if you've got a decal and it and it's become a little bit stuck, uh instead of wetting it through again, just give it uh, a, a a little brushing. I know this one's moving because I'm I'm just trying to explain, but just paint a little bit of microset over the top of the decal, uh, and then flip it over, mate, and just put a little bit of microset, the blue one, actually on the back. Uh, and you'll find, literally within about 10 seconds, that that decal will come off. All right, mate. Uh, again, still got the brush in my hand and trying to keep my hands away from the work that I've just done. So hold it there, mate. Keep knocking my phone. Now, what I'm going to do now, look, is I'm just using. So away with that solution, okay. I've just dipped my paintbrush into a little bit of water all right and because it's a sharp pointy brush i'm going to try and just manipulate it round now and i'm also looking at this one that i've already done to find out where i need it if that ain't gonna work a little bit more water okay and really really wet it up wet it up i'll wet you up mister really wet it up and if that's still not working just get your blade right because nothing messes with the blade uh, and just get a little bit of a a little bit of a move with blade. Just let the weight of the blade. Not use the blade as the last resort, obviously. Uh try try and move it with a little bit of water first. Where's the other one gone? It's just up there, which is in the correct place. Okay, and then the next one, let me just have a look over here. So I've got one there, I've got one there, I've got one. Obviously, I've put that one, I've put that one there, and actually it should be here. So lots and lots of water on that one. Absolutely flood it and try and get it to move. And this is where a, 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 it is where a good pair of pinch tweezers comes in. Pinch tweezers, when I say pinch tweezers, I mean these ones. I'm just going to drag it to edge, uh, hopefully without it curling over. So it's holding breath time, like that. You better sit on there now. You better sit on there. Brush out, brushes out. Hold that on there, like that. <coughs> Uh, you can't imagine how much sweat I am, really. I wouldn't say you can't imagine how much sweat I've got running down my head. I had every faith in my own ability there, he says. Just a regular bloke, mate, mate. Just like everybody else. Now, you can see I am, like, painting this with water. Just putting some water on it. And I'm hoping, get out of the way, you. And I'm hoping that some of that water is going to go underneath that decal. And you can see that I'm just trying to give it a little push. And again, it's saying, no, not moving. So again, weight at blade. Uh, and if it definitely won't move, then we are definitely on to get some water on it. Okay, get some water on it. Uh, and it will eventually come and play. Might not play with brush. All right, we might have to do a little bit of manipulating, but eventually, look, it will. It will come and play. Same as with any part of modelling, Andy. Patience is key, mate. Patience is key. Definitely the best skill 
a mod looking of is in his arsenal is to be able to not get frustrated. Take your time. It'll happen. Okay. Uh, it'll happen. You've just got to have the patience to know that sometimes you're just going to have to do a little bit of work. And then, like I said, just a little roll of a mate with my cotton bud. Just to get rid of that excess like that. Uh, and rolling the cotton bud means that I don't move it. Red paint brush for red solution, uh, which is your soul solution. Don't need to bathe it. I only need a little bit on. I can see I've got too much on there. Okay. So look at that bead. Let's see if I can find it for you. Look, look at that bead hanging off edge of that metal bit there. That is going to flood that decal. It's too much. Far too much. You literally just need a little bit on. I'm hoping that you can see that that's just completely and utterly changed colour. Okay. And I have got minimal, minimal amount on. The very minimal. And it's not because I'm tight, even though I am tight. I'm not tight, I'm just thrifty. Uh, I certainly don't need to be wasting it. Uh, and that's it, mate. That is that is literally, make sure that we don't be knocking them over. That's how I apply decals, Andy. I don't know if that's going to be of any use to you. Oh, by the way, uh, the old, uh, uh, once I've got that red solution on, do I roll that over with uh, a cotton bud again to get rid of the excess? No, I do not. And I'm just looking at something one, two, three. Uh, no, wrong one, Mark. Wrong one. Bear with. Uh, two. Uh, no, I don't. I don't roll it. Uh, once that red solution on is on, that red solution is on. One, two. Slice. Get rid of that over there. Deckle. Onto my tweezers. Onto my pinch tweezers. You'll see where I'm going with this in a second. Right there, just on edge. Uh, fingering, it's now this is the last time I can use this particular bit of water uh, because I can tell already that it's just under lukewarm. And again, I'm going to tap that off, okay? But again, just to help it along, right? I'm just going to paint the back of that with that, okay. And a little paint on the front. That'll do. That'll do. Onto here. Right way up. Now, I just have to have a look at my instructions off camera to see which way the feet point and they point towards the wing tips, which is that way. So, bit of water on. One, two. Let's get that up there. And I can see that it's moving. And again, if you just look, I've got that blue paper touching the plastic so that when I drag that off, okay, or drag it up, it's on. <clears throat> that bit of backing paper out of the way. My line for this particular piece is there. Uh, so I need to find centre. And I certainly need to spin that one round. And I think it goes in the middle. Well, do you know what? On my model it does. I'm just going to bathe that a little bit. Because I want it to move. And I want it there. I think. Yes, I do. See, that one, that one's on bang right place. But this one, this one ain't. So again, it's wet through. I'm just going to get my blade and just literally drag it across very carefully. Plonk it in the middle. Out comes the cotton bud. And I'm, I've got my finger on top of my cotton bud look because I want to do that without disturbing that decal. I don't really want that decal to move uh, or move much, should I say. Actually, that's cock on. And again, same with that one. 
it does need to be laid flat i'm happy with that okay and if you look i've flattened my cotton bud off okay because i want to do that and that'll do and again a bit of the old red which is your salt get rid of the excess i don't want to bathe it i just need a touch when you're doing a big decal you need plenty of this on for it to conform but when you're just doing things like no steps mate which is what you asked me for you don't really need a great deal on okay buddy well i hope that video has been of some help to you if it has leave me a comment if it hasn't please don't i'm joking uh comment if you want mate let me know how you uh how you get on that's me that's declan that's how i do it hope it's been uh, of use to you uh take care mate you've got me on facebook chat so if you ever want to have a chat just let me know cocker thanks a lot bud and i'll catch you later cheers